saying goodbye to uh, the RV park here in Syed Valley. Spent two nights here. The, the PCT is really easy to follow in the woods. Really don't need a lot of markings, trail markers. But when you get to a town or intersections or campgrounds, this is where it gets a little rough. Uh, and you need uh, maps or you need um, Gut Hooks app. So this is the way people go uh, if they're heading southbound. You go down this road uh, nearly a mile across the river and then you uh, take another five miles road. You do a right and a right and you end up over there on another road on the other side of the river across from here. And then you take a forestry road on up there and after a while you end up on the PCT. If you're heading northbound, you go nearly a mile this way uh, down the road and then you um, head up into the mountains. But if you were just staying here, you there's no, you know, so you need either half miles paper maps or gut hooks app uh, to help you with that. Otherwise, just walking through the woods, it's not as, uh, trail's really obvious. Well, I'm pretty much packed up. Here's a couple of southbound gals still sleeping. And I'm going to pack up and head out. Taking a break on my way up out of Syed Valley. Um... It's a beautiful day, blue skies, so thankful for that. <coughs> uh, the last 24 hours plus have been uh, rain off and on. And uh, the guys that took out yesterday, set out yesterday morning, must have walked in rain the entire day. So it was worth it to me just to rest up uh, and uh, take it easy. There at the uh, campground. And all that rain. Uh, things are a little damp but not bad. And uh, <coughs> it's not muddy. The rain though does give uh, all the creeks a bit of a boost. So water should be plentiful. And then I've got a few days uh, of this. Uh, today's cool. You know like 70s. I'd say we start out in the... 40s or 50s and it'll be end up in the 70s uh, maybe 60s and 70s up here at the top when I get there uh, and then the heat wave will kick in I think st uh, starting the next day or two and so that's good for me uh, that I'm fortunately going up this this big climb out of uh, Syed Valley uh, on a relatively cool day because uh, if it was a, a hot day like when the herd gets here in a couple months, it'll just, it'll be flat out hot. And it's hard to go up the, it's a 5,000 foot climb coming out of Syed Valley. It might be the biggest climb on the PCT. Climb down there to get to this water. Hopefully, going up is easier than coming down. Here's a nice 15 foot waterfall. That's a big mountain. That's impressive. Oh. I'm getting up high.
pretty. The storm clouds or rain clouds are gone. These more look like uh, more harmless cumulus. That's fine by me. Just keep that drying trend going. This is one of the reasons why I enjoy hiking the PCT. Beautiful, stunning view. What a gorgeous valley. Marble mountains in the background. The uh, trail is over there along with the forestry service road. It's the service road's lower and the trail's higher. And then they came down to that saddle over there, the gap. I'd say a month ago, this was just nothing but snow. It's much safer now. Still no rain, blue skies. I'll take it. Gorgeous, looking back down the trail. And what's ahead of me? Get a little bit of switchback action going on, coming up. It's a nice transition after being on the side of that hill with all that exposure. Um, now, I'm in the woods and I could use the shade. I would love to stop here, but I'm low on water. It's two miles to the next water, so I might as well Go ahead and see if I can't get it. It's after 5 o'clock. Temperature's been uh, pretty decent. It's been hot every now and then, but uh, for the most part, it's been the cool side. I think that's helped me a lot. I'm just so thankful to have that big. There's one more big one coming up. Bridge of the Gods. See, the, the trail's hanging around the five, six, seven thousand 7,000 foot range. But then when you have a big valley with the Klamath River like that, the trail has to go way, way, way down to get down to, to the river's edge and then back up. So one more big river up at the Bridge of the Gods. This is a new valley. I've never seen it before. It's beautiful. Going on uh, six o'clock. Hear a bird every now and then, that's it. Well, this is a different blowdown instead of a thick tree trunk. It's the middle, all branches. Where did people go through? They go around it? Are they crawling on their hands and knees down there? There's a couple of broken branches, but it's hard to tell. Probably that way. All right. Just came uh, into this clearing. It's a saddle. Uh, came out of that direction, but here I am looking uh, south in the general direction of Syed Valley. Just beautiful that way. I just passed a couple uh, about a quarter mile back, setting up their tent for the night. I guess they hiked up all day yesterday in that rain. That's the reason why I stayed there and relaxed because I won't have to deal with that. And here's the other side of the saddle. I haven't seen this, this valley. <coughs> so pretty. And the uh, trail goes this way. I'm about a half mile from some water. Dog spring, something like that. Bear dog spring. Now 
that's not some desperate bear. That was me. Scrape the snow down and get it through the dirty snow to the a little bit cleaner snow. And I drank the rest of this water I had and filled up my bottle with um, I, uh, snow. And that's just in case this um, water source at Bear Dog Creek, which is coming up in about a quarter mile, just in case it doesn't have any flow to it. Setting up my tent after 20 something miles today, 20 point, I think, and a quarter. Up the big, uh, that huge uphill coming out of Syed Valley. I'm, I hope I don't pay for this tomorrow, but I'm at uh, Bear Dog Spring. That's that post right there. <clears throat> It's only about 30 feet down. It's like a seep. I get, you know, I guess it's a spring. Coming out of the mud, though. <coughs> and um, I was low on water the last five miles, stretched it out, and made it. So I've been drinking water. <coughs> I'm good to go. <coughs> it's um, around seven or so. I'm ready to call it a night. I'm bushed. I didn't plan on coming this far. Uh, but that's the way it worked out. So real thankful that I've just about knocked out about a, th a third of the section to Ashland. I'll just see how tomorrow goes. I, I don't, it doesn't make sense to all of a sudden just start doing 20s. I'd have to th think about the Possibility of a stress injuries. But I'm glad that today's over. The weather's nice. It's, it'll be cold up here tonight. That's okay. Still got another hour of sunlight. I'll take it. I'll just lay down, rest, read a little bit. Call it a Saturday night.